Hello everyone, welcome back to the series of Pandas. In this video, we will specifically discuss on pivoting from Python perspective. As of now, we already know that data pivoting is a summarizing technique to rearrange the columns and rows in a report so as to view data from different perspective. So pivoting basically means to rearrange the rows and column in order to get the summarized data from the massive chunk of data. Now we already have the basic idea of what pivoting is. Now in order to perform pivoting in pandas, we have to use these two methods that is pivot and pivot table. Let's get started with the pivot function. So rearranging of rows and columns in pandas can be simply performed with the help of pivot function. This is the basic syntax of the pivot function. As you can see, we have to use the data frame object along with the dot notation and the pivot function. The pivot function of the method accepts the following parameters that is index, columns and values. So these are the parameters that are accepted by the pivot function or the pivot method as you can see. Since we want to rearrange the rows and columns, that's why we have to place the index name as one of the column name and columns or the columns of that particular pivot table will be once again the column name and the values to be as the column name as well. So from that massive chunk of data which has the rows and columns, what we have to do is we have to rearrange the rows and columns in order to create the summarized data or in order to create that pivot data. Now let us try to understand this with an example. In this example as you can see I have a data set which is in the form of key value pair. So this is a dictionary data set which is in the value of key value pair format. These are basically the keys and these are basically the value of those particular key. So here what I'm doing is I'm importing pandas and I'm using this for the beautification purpose. I'm passing this data in the data frame and I'm printing this data frame object that is df. So let us execute this code in order to understand better. So as soon as I execute this code, you can see this data looks something like this. As you can see, this is basically the striped down version or the miniature version of this entire table that we have in the Excel spreadsheet. So now in order to create a pivot table like this in pandas, we have to use this particular syntax. So this particular syntax will be used in order to create the pivot table like this in pandas. So this is the pivot table that we had in Excel. Now in order to create this kind of pivot table in pandas, we have to use this particular syntax. That is the data frame object along with the pivot function or the pivot method. Now let us try to create a pivot table of this data set. So in order to create a pivot table which looks something like this. So what we need to do is we need to pass the item as index and we need to pass the region as columns and we need to pass the unit as values. So let us perform this activity. So the first element that will pass this item which will be the index. And the second element that will pass is basically the column is region. third element which is going to be the values is basically the units. So this way what I have done is I have interchanged the rows and columns so that I can create a summarized data of this entire data set. Now let us try to beautify this. So this is done let us execute this code. As you can see this was the original chunk of data from this original chunk of data we have created the pivot data on the pivot table. So this is the pivot table that we have. This region is basically the columns and this item is basically the index as you can see. So here binder desk and pencil are basically the index name and here 20, NAN, 10, 15 are basically the values of those particular columns with respect to their particular index values. From the summarized data you can easily make out 20 binders from central region got sold, 10 pencil from east region got sold and 15 desk from west region got sold and the rest of the values as you can see where we have NAN it means that we didn't had any kind of sale of those items in those region as you can see from central region we don't have any sale of desk and pencil and from east region we don't have any sale of binder and desk and from west region we don't have any sale of binder and pencil so this is the way how we can create a pivot table in pandas by rearranging the rows and columns. Now let us go through one more example. In this example, we will perform some modification in this data set and we will try to create the pivot table of that particular data set. So these are some of the few modifications that we have made in each and every column. In region, we have created multiple data of same name that is East, East, and we have created representative two representative of same name that is Jones and we have created items of same name that is 
pencil so this way what we have done is we have created multiple records of the same type that is we have created duplicate records let us print this data set in order to understand it better so before printing this data set what i will do is i will comment this particular line which will create the pivot table as of now i just want to print this data set as you can see this is the data set how it looks here we have two representative name jones and two representatives sold the same item that is pencil but the units were different 10 20 and they sold the pencil in the same region that is east so this was all about the data set now let us try to create a pivot table out of it here we will put the item as index and region as column and unit as values now let us try to execute this code See, uh, when we try pivoting this data set, it resulted in error. This logic resulted into an error because we had duplicate entries of column east with the different values in this data set. As you can see in this data set, we had duplicate entries of east. If we go through the error carefully, we can see that the error says index contain duplicate entries and cannot reshape. Since we had duplicate entries, therefore no pivoting is possible using the pivot function. So the pivot function won't be able to pivot the data if we have duplicate entries. So we can say this is one of the demerit of pivoting using pandas. Well, don't worry about that. Here the function pivot table comes into rescue. We can still perform pivoting in pandas for duplicate entries using the pivot table function. So in order to perform pivoting for duplicate entries, we will use this particular syntax that is pivot underscore table. So this particular function will be used to perform pivoting for duplicate entries. So either of the following syntax can be used. You can use the first syntax or you can use the second syntax. Any of the syntax can be used. In our curriculum, we will stick on to the first syntax which says data frame along with the dot notation and that pivot underscore table. It accepts the following parameter. The first parameter which it accepts is values then index column and aggregate function. We have already discussed on values, index and columns. Now let us try to understand what aggregate function is. So aggregate function means the following. Like if we want to calculate the sum, count, mean, median, max, minimum, mode, absolute, standard, variation and etc. We will use the aggregate function keyword and we will assign the value of aggregate function from any of this. I hope this is clear. So let us try to understand this better with an example. Since we were trying to pivot this data set using the pivot function, therefore we ended up in error. Now let us try to pivot this data set using the pivot underscore table function. The first element that it will accept is units. So let us pass the first element. So the second element which it accepts is basically the index. So in our case, our item was the index. So we will pass item as the second element. And the third element which it accepts is basically the column. So we will pass the column. In our case, region is basically the column. So we will pass the third element as region. The last element that we will pass is basically the aggregate function. From the first two records, we can easily make out that these two records are basically the duplicate entries because these two records deal with the same region with the same representative name and same item name. So what we can do is we can set the value of aggregate function as sum. So what it will do is it will get the sum of the units that is 20 plus 10 30. So the value that will be set for this particular pivot table will be 30. So let us set the aggregate function. Now let us execute this code. As you can see this is the pivot table that is being created out of this data set. So we can see we didn't get an error. This is because we can create pivot table for duplicate entries using the pivot table function. So this was all about pivoting in pandas, we will discuss about sorting and aggregation in my next video.